Once upon a time, a young inventor named Bartholomew Balderdash dreamed of inventing something special. I want to create something big and important, he told his pet chinchilla, Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi agreed. Meanwhile... In another part of the kingdom lived a queen with a magic mirror. No, not that queen. This queen was generous and good. Her name was Queen Beneficent. Every morning, Queen Beneficent looked in her mirror and said, <laughs> Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, show me the kindest ones of all. And the mirror would show her all the kind people in the kingdom. But one day, the mirror said, Queen, I hate to say it, but no one is acting very kindly today. Oh dear, what can we do? Well, I'm just spitballing, but why don't we have a kindness contest? Oh, Mira, you sly thing, you. Aren't you a smart one? Yes. Oh, ho, ho. that's a fabulous idea. The person with the best idea for spreading kindness shall be awarded the Royal Medal of Compassion, Helpfulness, Insight, Caring, Kindness, Empathy, and Niceness. <gasps> Not the Royal Chicken. Yes. It even comes with a snazzy hat. The queen modeled a very snazzy hat shaped just like a chicken. Ooh, is that a fryer cause you're sizzling? The queen sent messengers throughout the kingdom. When Bartholomew heard about the contest, he said, This is it, Chi Chi. I'm gonna invent a big and important kindness machine and win the contest said Chi-Chi. Bartholomew built his machine with gizmos, gadgets, and doohickeys. He even used a thingamabob or two. You're right. A kindness machine must use kind words. Huh. Where do we go to find words? <laughs> yeah, the library! Bartholomew pushed his machine to the library, where he found Miss Collywobbles, the librarian, balancing on a huge stack of books. Miss Collywobbles wobbled. Oh, careful, Miss Collywobbles! Bartholomew held the stack of books so Miss Collywobbles didn't fall. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh, 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 shh. Thank you, Bartholomew. Miss Collywobbles, uh, can you help me collect words for my big and important kindness machine? Oh, no, of course. But if, first I must show all of these books. Oh, don't you know? Okay, I'll help. Oh, that's very kind. It certainly is. Said the mirror, who was watching everything Bartholomew was doing. It was a magic mirror, after all. When they finished putting everything where it belonged, Miss Collywobbles climbed on top of the kindness machine with a stack of books. As she fed them into the machine, a long ribbon of paper appeared filled with thoughtful words. You're right, Chi Chi. Kind words are important, but so are kind actions. Hmm. Who would perform kind actions? Yeah, a kind actor! Right! To the theater! Bartholomew pushed his machine to the theater, where they found the great actor Sir Reginald Flapdoodle sobbing on stage. Boo hoo hoo! Sniffles. Boo hoo hoo! Oh, oh, what's wrong, Sir Flapdoodle? He waved at the theater full of empty seats. Isn't it obvious? I need an audience and applause! <laughs> oh, we can help with that! Bartholomew and Chi Chi and Miss Collywobbles clapped and whistled and cheered for Sir Flapdoodle. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you, you two guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bartholomew told Sir Flapdoodle about his big and important kindness machine. 
Oh, how sweet of you to ask, my little bebe. I'm honored to participate in this noble endeavor. He climbed onto the machine and sat next to Ms. Collywobbles. Then he spoke into a cone attached to the machine. To be kind or not to be kind, that is the question. It certainly is. (laughs) Once again, Chi Chi, you are correct. Kind people have sweet thoughts. Hmm. Where do we go to find sweet things? (laughs) Yeah, to the bakery! At the bakery, they found Chuck Cannoli running this way and that. Yes, yes, I got you, I got you. Oh man, but you want this one? This you want that one? Uh, someone give the baker a break, please. I need some help. Said Chef Cannoli. Oh, Chef Cannoli, we can help. You, okay, I got this. I, I'll take care of everyone over here. All right, you here. Wear this apron. Okay, you, you wear an apron. Bartholomew. Chi-Chi, Miss Collywobbles, and Sir Flapdoodle put on aprons and ran around the bakery taking orders and helping customers. Soy jelly rolls over here. Soy jelly rolls, you look good with three to me. Oh, don't forget my scones. Well, you, you should. You, you should forget your scones. Yeah, actually. Give me popsicles. When they were all finished, Chef Cannoli climbed on top of Bartholomew's kindness machine with three boxes of pink frosted cupcakes. He fed the cupcakes into the machine, creating a lovely pink smoke that wafted around the kingdom, giving everyone who smelled it sweet thoughts. Bartholomew looked his machine up and down and grinned. Now it had gadgets and gizmos and doohickeys and thingamabobs, but it also had a librarian and books and an actor and a chef and cupcakes. It truly was a big and important machine. We did it, Chi Chi. We created something big and important that will spread kind words and actions and thoughts throughout the kingdom. I'm gonna win the prize. Bartholomew joined a huge crowd of people on their way to the queen's castle for the kindness contest. But on the way to the castle, Bartholomew came across a group of crying children. <laughs> oh dear, um, what's wrong? On their way to the castle, all these people came and trampled over my cake and the party decorations because they were in a hurry. And no one was really being very kind. And now I don't have a birthday party because everybody ruined it. Bartholomew looked at the sad children. Then he looked up at his machine. <sighs> Chi Chi, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Chef Cannoli, can, can you please give all of these children some cupcakes? He hopped down from the machine and handed out cupcakes. Nice. Sir Flapdoodle, do you think you can entertain everybody? I would be delighted. Sir Flapdoodle climbed down from the machine and started juggling the squashed presents. Miss Collywobbles, um, we need some gifts. Oh yeah, well we've got books, and those are the best gifts of all. Wait, aren't those library books? Well, yeah, don't you know? They'll have to give them back, but stories stay with us forever, don't you know? I know better now. You're right, Chi Chi. The contest starts any minute. We better go. No. The children were climbing on Bartholomew's machine. They were having so much fun. Bartholomew didn't have the heart to ask them to stop. So he left his big and important machine behind. The mirror looked on, as magic mirrors do, and saw Bartholomew trudge sadly to the castle without his machine. Queen Beneficent stepped forward along with the mirror and said, Oh, welcome, welcome, one and all, to my kindness contest. Please, please show me your wonderful ideas. 
Bartholomew wished he could show the queen his invention. <sighs> All that work for nothing, Chi-Chi. A man stepped forward with a long rope. Well, I think we should wrap everyone up together until they are nice to each other. I call it the kinder winder. Hmm, you know what? Uh-uh. Next. A witch dragged a stinky, bubbling cauldron in front of the queen. <laughs> it's a kindness concoction, Daddy. Everyone who drinks it instantly turns kind. <laughs> they also turn green and lose all of their hair. But hey, what you gonna do? Yes. No. That's a no. Yeah, it's a definite no. Next. A boy stepped forward with a very strange-looking gadget attached to his face. Let me guess. It's a kindness contraption. <laughs> Sorry, had to fix it. This is my smile stretcher. <laughs> Ain't it neat? Oh. I don't have anything witty left to say. Next. Person after person shared their ideas for spreading kindness. When everyone was done, the queen looked into her magic mirror and said, Mirror, mirror, in the field, let the winner be revealed. Queen, the winner is... Bartholomew Boulderdash. big and important machine. That doesn't matter. I've been watching you. Your small acts of kindness did more than any kindness machine or concoction or contraption could ever do. Oh! Wow! Okay! I, I was just being me! Bartholomew Balderdash! I award you the Royal Medal of Compassion, Helpfulness, Insight, Caring, Kindness, Empathy, and Niceness. Oh, I, oh, we won! Oh, thank you! Thank you! The boy with the smile stretcher sobbed. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm not crying, you are. <laughs> okay, maybe I am, but that's just because I really wanted to be a royal chicken. I really wanted the medal. <laughs> Bartholomew smiled. He didn't need a machine to do something big and important. And he didn't need a prize to do something kind. He pinned his medal on the boy. The people cheered. <laughs> And everyone in the kingdom lived kindly ever after. The end. But Bartholomew did keep the snazzy hat. <laughs> <laughs>